Hello, it is me and maybe a husky somewhere. It is Thursday the 2nd of February 2023. For some reason, I was going to say 13. I mean, God, let's go back 10 years. How old would I be? Yeah, let's go back 10 years. If you knew what you know now, 10 years ago, are there any decisions or things that you've done that you would 100% change? And are there any decisions or things that have happened that you would never change for the world? There you go, question for you. I would... change certain things only a couple of things um but i feel like those changes would lead me to a totally different place in my life there's not like loads of things that i would change i just know there's a couple of things that 100 percent would change my life massively if i know what i know now but i don't because we can't go back in the past we can only look ahead I've got an ear hurt earlier than yesterday, even though I've been to the shop. Because someone, who's very fluffy and cute, ran out of her favourite T-I-E-A-T -E yesterday, like she had her last one. And she's got some others in the drawer, but it, like, they just... If you watch my food hauls, she likes those, like, buffalo sticks. And she's got the venison strips. And because last week... They didn't have any buffalo sticks in but i had a pack at home and i think i had an open pack so i was like well i can go in the week because i knew she'd run out one day in the week and i was going to go yesterday but there was an incident on the way here hence me being on the phone and that's all i'm going to say um so i didn't get to go i changed my route because of what was going on and um she had a last one yesterday and I know I've got those strips. There's only a few left as well. But there's been times when she's run out of the big ones before and I've given her those strips and she just looks disappointed because she's expecting a chunkier T-R-E-A-T. -E Can't say the word because she knows what it is. So even though it's totally out of my way, I went to the shop just for her. And I was like, there's not really anything I need, but I did go and get, well, she... see, she's going to get up now, see? You can't touch a packet, whether it's food or anything else, without her appearing. So I've gone for these because there's two big things in here. And they're bigger than those things. And they're more substantial. Those other things are not very substantial. But they're made out of either buffalo or venison. I think they're buffalo. But these are just one key chomp with liver. But she's never had these before. But the previous dog did. But they're quite big and chunky. And they'll last longer because those ones that... I give her, it lasts about six seconds, so I know this was one of these, she's only having one. But these are like 129 and those packets are like, I think they've gone up to £1.9 or 119 and there's five in them and there's only two in here. And you can crave as much as you want, you ain't having it until you get on. Because we have our little routine when we get home, I'll just tell you what it is, might as well. So we go home, she immediately goes in as a drink, I hang my keys up. I then put my bag where I put it, take my scarf off, and as I'm walking to go and hang my coat up, she will normally get all giddy and excited and like put a happy, like she has this happy look that she does. And it's her like knowing that she's gonna go and get what she's getting. So I hang my coat up and then she takes me to her T I E A T drawer and she gets one. So I was like, well, I'm gonna have to go because she's going to expect one and i've got like about two or three of those strips left but she she would normally have them today anyway at least one or two of them so i just tried to get her what i normally get and there's none on the shelf still there weren't any last friday there's sometimes i go and they don't have them and they're her favorites so i've been getting the as the they're not called as the essentials are they those crumpets Anyway, the cheapest brand. When I first started getting them, they were like 44p and now they're 50p. And 
I thought next time I get crumpets, I'm going to get the branded ones. And I'll tell you what, I can feel the difference straight away. They look a little bit thicker, but the type the softer. So I'm guessing these are going to be better. And everyone's like, you can't tell the difference between crumpets. I think I'm going to be able to. I thought these are vegan as well. I'm pretty sure all, yeah, they are. all crumpets are vegan. But they just feel like a totally different like texture. So they might be better, they might not. The funny, ironic thing is, I never used to really love crumpets. Like, I didn't hate them, I just never really got them. Because I don't, I'm not a big fan of the texture. It just, it's a bit weird. And they don't taste amazing, so I don't always get them. But then at Christmas, like, I got some reindeer ones and some Christmas tree ones. And then when I went vegan for January, I mean, I know we're in February, but I've got another week. Like, I te technically, I'm meant to finish next Wednesday night. But I can't imagine I'm going to get anything different in for the Thursday. So it might continue Thursday, it might not. I mean... I might buy some eggs so I can at least have some protein because I'm not getting enough protein. That's my only thing with this. I've definitely not had nowhere near enough protein. I think I'm managing to get a bit more than I was, but still not what I normally have. So it does feel like a totally different product. They don't feel hard. They don't feel as stodgy. So hopefully I like them as much because I had the last one this morning. I've been having one like with my tablets and then I'll have cereal after. That's what I've been having. Or some days I'll just have one of these and maybe like a bagel with some fake sausages on or bacon, which I don't have any of. But mainly cereal, but I never get to eat a full one because, yep, your cutie pie right there gets one. Well, some don't you? And I've been putting peanut butter and jelly on because I've actually got peanut butter and jelly from Randall's. So, yeah, I wasn't even going to get anything. I'm like, I'm not just going to go in for one thing. And I was like, well, I finished my crumpets today. Like, I'll probably, like, tomorrow I'll be like, oh, I could have done with a crumpet. But, yeah. So, I got up earlier. Do you know what's weird, right? I went upstairs later than I would normally to start getting ready. And then I got ready quicker than normal, and I don't know why. I was listening to Richard Sambora. Sometimes listening to music slows me down. Um, and then I kept looking at the time, like, how am I this far into getting ready? And it's only this time. I was really confused by it. I don't know what's going on today. <clears throat> I think sometimes, like, when the cloud is lifted a little bit, I just seem to have a bit more motivation and stuff. Some of you will know what I mean by that. Some of you won't, and some of you'll just guess and make your own stuff up. <laughs> Yesterday, I got on the walk a lot later than normal, and I had to cut 10 minutes off the end to make sure that I got home by the time I needed to, or the latest time that I'm willing to get home. I think I'm willing to get home a couple of minutes after I got home, but... I keep getting stuck behind learner drivers driving up a main road at like 10 mile an hour. I mean, if they're not confident enough to drive on a main road, they really shouldn't be on it because it's just going to scare them more. Like, I'd be scared if like I got put in the deep end and I didn't feel comfortable. So, do you know what? All week I've had a really stiff neck and shoulders. Like, my neck is really bad and my shoulders yesterday were really bad. I don't know why. I'm not sleeping on anything different. My pillars are the same. Like, there's nothing different. But it's just so uncomfortable. I've already got yes yesterday's. Yeah, yesterday's video up scheduled for tomorrow. This will be obviously be Saturdays. And what I film tomorrow will be Mondays. Because potentially I won't get out weekend for obvious reasons. But... I still want to film other things, like it's just me, isn't it? Like, <sighs> right, before I forget, the other Friday, the last Friday that I filmed before I got really ill and then I didn't go out, I was on the walk 
and obviously I filmed before because that was the video that you saw not this Monday gone, the Monday before. Yeah. And um I was on the walk, I was about where was I? About ten minutes in it and I started to feel unwell in my head. I don't mean like I was having a mental breakdown. I just went really lightheaded. I felt confused about where I was, even though like I've done that bit of the walk probably a hundred times. And I just felt really confused and I kept thinking, just keep walking, you'll work out where you are. And I'm thinking, like, how do I not even know where I am? And I'm there trying to like calm myself down because I felt panicked and I'm thinking, don't panic because I was very lightheaded and I was worried that I was going to collapse where I was. And I don't often come across people that often where I was, like it's very rare, like I could go weeks and not see anyone on that part of the walk. And if I do ever see anyone, it's only one person every now and then, like I don't see lots of different people. So that started to make me feel panicked because I thought if I do collapse, A, how am I going to keep hold of the dog if I collapse, she's going to run off. So I'm thinking, oh my God, what do I do? Like I didn't know what I was meant to do and I'm like, can I attach the lead to myself in a way that if I did collapse or black out, where she couldn't run off because I might let go with, with my hand. So I was just feeling more and more panicked and I was just really confused where I, I was. And even though like I kept thinking to myself, like, you know where you are, I just couldn't place it in my head where I was. And it was quite scary and I just was so lightheaded and just felt weird. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it other than it felt weird. <laughs> when a dog barks and wags its tail, it doesn't have the same effect, does it? Um, and then I started to like, after maybe, I don't know how long, I don't know how long it takes me to walk that distance. Probably within five minutes, I started to feel a little bit better and I started to go, oh, I, I know where I am, but I still felt like I was going to collapse, like like I was going to black out. And I still also felt a little bit confused about where I was, even though I started to think, oh, I recognise this, I know where I am. And then I was feeling a little bit better. And then it happened again, like, but much stronger. And I'm thinking, like, what's going to happen if I collapse? I was just more concerned about collapsing and letting go of the dog lead than anything. Because even though someone may not come across me for ages or at all, like, I was more concerned about the dog running off because that's what huskies do and I just didn't want her to run off. So, I'm there just thinking, take deep breaths. And I, I was more aware of where I was the second time, but I was more like, felt like I was going to pass out. Do you know that feeling either before you're going to black out or faint? Because it's two very different feelings. It was more of a faint feeling, but I felt like everything was going darker. It was really weird. I didn't know what to do and I'm like... Maybe I need to go and eat something. Um, and I just kept concentrating and thinking, get back to the car. Because in, in my boot, I had one of those um, Grey's um, Bakewell squares that I've been getting, although they didn't have any last week. I was like, maybe you just need some sugar. Maybe you've like not had enough sugar. Maybe like you like because you're not having enough protein, it's just your body needs fuel and that's what's happening. So... It was snowy and icy and stuff and it was quite slipping. I'm like, oh my God, just concentrate on getting back to the car. Just get back to the car. That's all my priority was and all that I was thinking was, there's this woman with two dogs and she just stood there. She's not walking them and they keep kicking off at her because they want to walk. Now my dog's trying to get out via the boot. Um, but yeah, it was quite a scary experience because it's, I don't care if I collapse, it's more of the dog's going to run away and I'm like, do you know what, if I'm unconscious, how am I going to go and try and get her back? I can't. So that's what scared me the most, like, you know, never mind collapsing. And I don't know what was wrong with me, I don't know why it just came on, but it did and it wasn't a nice experience. And I got back to the car and behind my car it was very icy and the dog's dragging me. I almost bloody head butted the bloody boot. I'm not even joking. And then I'm there thinking, oh great, I'm probably going to fall backwards and smash my head open. <laughs> and I, I had it. And then I walked with her. I didn't go anywhere where I wouldn't be found if I did collapse. I went 
where there's always people or sometimes there's not many but it's a popular place where i was so sometimes i'll see one person sometimes i'll see seven so i made sure of that and i was like if this doesn't like start to kick in the food very quickly because i also had a bit of a drink as well um if it don't kick in i'll just go back to the car but i think it took about 10 minutes for me to start to like not feel as lightheaded but i just felt panicked because if it happened again what as if i did collapse um and i think i walked for another 20 odd minutes but i'd say the first 10 to 15 i was very like not fully with it just didn't feel good Anyway, so the time I got back to the car, I'd say I'd felt about 40% better, maybe 50% better. But all that night, I just felt really weak. Um, Saturday, didn't feel ill at all. I seemed to have more energy. I got like most of my weekend's to-do list done on the Saturday in quite a short space of time. Then Saturday night, that's when I got ill and it came on really quickly. Um, but yeah, that was quite a scary experience and I was just like, I'm always like scared that I'm going to like black out and like drop the lead. Like that time when I fell. Um, also, by the way, I watched the video when I talked about when I fell that day and I said because I um, was on one knee, I lost balance and went forward again. That wasn't actually the case because... My other leg was out to the side of me and I actually had started to get back up and it was the dog that dragged me forwards and that's why I nearly had butted the floor and if I hadn't hit it and I've still got, look at my knuckle, I don't know if you can see it, it's still like got a mark on it so if I didn't have the lead my face would have hit the floor because I was looking at the floor, it was like that close to me so it was the dog that pulled me down the second time because I remember when I was getting back up, I called her a little shit and there were people like um, approaching me and I thought, oh God, I hope they didn't hear me call her that. But obviously I had reasons to say that she's a little shit because she literally pulled me down again. So, yeah, I need to, because um, my biggest fear is I'm going to let go of that lead. She does run off. She won't come back. Huskies don't. I don't know why they just don't you can't train them to come back no matter how much training they have it doesn't work if they're in an open space they will not come back to you if she's in an enclosed space she'll come back to me but no if i let her off now be like bye bye <laughs> even though she'd go up to another dog and then i would have to try to get to her and then try and get hold of the lead because she is dog mad i know she's a dog but she's dog mad but yeah that friday was a very scary experience so I keep thinking I need to find a way where the lead's permanently attached to me. Problem is I change my hand that the lead's holding um, at times. I predominantly walk it in one hand, but sometimes it's convenient to just change hands. So if I got something where I could attach the lead to one hand, it would have to be something easy that if I did swap hands, I could attach it quickly to the other hand. So I do need something to get in something because if like I'm in the woods and she just like managed to pull the lead out of my hand because she does try, I'd I'd be in trouble because in the woods, like it's going to be impossible to find her. At the moment it'd be easier because there's no leaves on the trees and stuff, but when there's loads of leaves and stuff, like it'd be impossible and she could just go anywhere. Right, I'm going to go. I want to be on the walk in three minutes. Um, I'm taught longer than I planned. I need to go get some socks on. I'm going to put a hat on because it is raining. Have a fantastic weekend, no matter what you're doing. And I'll hopefully see you next week. <laughs>